The new Flower Turbines Wind Turbine for Home that outperforms PV solar panels. You heard me right. This is a wind turbine that you can install in your backyard, on your roof, or even on your balcony, and it will generate more electricity than a solar panel of the same size. How is that possible? Well, let me tell you all about it. First of all, let's take a look at the design of this wind turbine. As you can see, it looks like a flower, with four petals that spin around a central stem. The petals are made of lightweight and durable materials, such as aluminum and carbon fiber, and they have a curved shape that creates a lift force when the wind blows. This means that the petals can rotate even with very low wind speeds, as low as 2 meters per second. That's equivalent to a gentle breeze. The stem of the wind turbine is also very clever. It has a vertical axis that allows the petals to rotate in any direction, depending on the wind direction. This means that the wind turbine can capture the wind from any angle, unlike horizontal axis wind turbines that need to face the wind. The stem also has a built-in generator that converts the rotational energy of the petals into electrical energy. The generator is connected to a battery that stores the excess electricity for later use. But wait, there's more. The most amazing feature of this wind turbine is that it can work in clusters. That means that you can install multiple wind turbines next to each other, and they will create a positive interference effect. This means that the wind turbines will enhance each other's performance by increasing the wind speed and reducing the turbulence around them. This way, you can generate even more electricity than with a single wind turbine. Sounds incredible, right? Well, it is. And I have the proof to show you. I will show you some data and facts that compare the Flower Turbine's wind turbine with a PV solar panel of the same size. First, let's compare the efficiency of the two technologies. Efficiency is a measure of how well a device converts the available resource into electricity. The higher the efficiency, the more electricity you can get from the same amount of resource. According to the web search results, wind turbines are between 20% and 40% efficient when generating usable electricity. That means that they can capture and convert 20% to 40% of the kinetic energy from the wind. On the other hand, solar panels have an average conversion efficiency of 15% to 25%. That means that they can capture and convert 15% to 25% of the solar energy from the sun. So, based on these numbers, we can see that wind turbines are more efficient than solar panels. The web search results also indicate that wind power and solar energy have some negative effects on the environment. For example, wind turbines can be noisy and visually intrusive, and they can kill birds and bats. Solar panels can be interrupted by weather conditions, and they require a lot of space to install. Moreover, solar panels can be difficult to recycle as they contain toxic materials such as lead and cadmium. Let's talk about the benefits of having a flower turbine's wind turbine for home. As we have seen in the previous parts, this wind turbine is efficient. It can generate more electricity than a solar panel of the same size, especially in low wind or variable wind conditions. Eco-friendly. It produces no emissions or pollution, and it has a low environmental impact. It is also safe for birds and other wildlife, as it has a slow rotation speed and a vertical axis. Beautiful. It has a unique and artistic design that resembles a flower. It can blend in with the landscape and add aesthetic value to your property. Flexible. It can work in any direction, regardless of the wind direction. It can also work in clusters, creating a positive interference effect that boosts the power output. Reliable. It can work in all weather conditions, day and night. It has a battery that stores the excess electricity for later use or for backup. Profitable. It can reduce your electricity bills and make you more independent from the grid. It can also qualify you for some incentives and tax credits, depending on your location and regulations. Now let's talk about the costs of having a flower turbine's wind turbine for home. The costs include the initial cost of buying and installing the wind turbine. According to the flower turbine's website one, 
The price of a single wind turbine ranges from $4,000 to $8,000, depending on the size and the model. The installation cost varies depending on the location and the complexity of the project, but it is usually around 10% to 20% of the wind turbine cost for. The maintenance cost of keeping the wind turbine in good condition. According to the Flower Turbines website one, the maintenance cost is minimal as the wind turbine has few moving parts and a simple design. The maintenance cost is estimated to be around 1% to 3% of the wind turbine cost per year for. The operational cost of running the wind turbine and the battery. According to the Flower Turbines website one, the operational cost is negligible as the wind turbine and the battery have high efficiency and durability. The operational cost is estimated to be less than 1% of the wind turbine cost per year for. So based on these numbers, we can calculate the payback period of having a flower turbine's wind turbine for home. The payback period is the time it takes for the wind turbine to pay for itself by saving you money on your electricity bills. The payback period depends on many factors, such as the wind speed, the electricity price, the wind turbine size, and the incentives available. To give you an example, let's assume that you buy a 1.5 kilowatts wind turbine for $6,000 and install it for $1,200. Let's also assume that you have an average wind speed of 5 meters per second, an average electricity price of $0.15 and 15 cents per co, and a 30% tax credit for renewable energy. In this case, your wind turbine would generate about 2,190 kilowatt hours of electricity per year, saving you about $328.05 on your electricity bills per year. Your total cost would be $5,040 after the tax credit, and your payback period would be about 15.3 years. Of course, this is just an example, and your actual payback period may vary depending on your specific situation. You can use online calculators or consult with experts to get a more accurate estimate of your payback period. First, you need to check the wind potential and the zoning regulations in your area. You can use online tools such as the Wind Atlas or the Wind Resource Maps to find out the average wind speed and direction in your location. You also need to contact your local authorities and utility company to find out if you need any permits, approvals, or interconnection agreements to install a wind turbine for home. Second, you need to choose the right size and model of the Flower Turbine's wind turbine for home. You can use the Flower Turbine's website to browse the different options and features of the wind turbines. You can also use the online calculator to estimate the power output and the payback period of the wind turbine based on your wind speed, electricity price, and incentives. Third, you need to find a reputable and qualified installer for your Flower Turbine's wind turbine for home. You can use the Flower Turbine's website to find a local dealer or partner near you. You can also use the Ecava website to find a certified installer in your area. That's it for this video. I hope you learned something new and useful about the Flower Turbine's wind turbine for home. If you are interested in getting one for yourself, you can visit the Flower Turbine's website or contact them directly. You can also check out the links in the description for more information and resources. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, stay green and stay happy. Bye.